What's up everybody? Welcome to yet another episode of Toke Moment. My name is Toke Makima and today I am right on time. So I caught up on all the past episodes of The Real Housewives of Lagos and episode 7 is what I'm going to be reviewing because so many of you guys tagged me. Have you watched it? Have you watched it? Have you watched it? I had to leave everything I was doing balanced in front of the television set and decided to watch it. And whew, the ladies brought all the drama. Shout out to Miriam. She is the real housewife of Lagos. Her house is really pink, if I do say so myself. Um, Miriam had this dinner that she invited all the ladies for. Now, Miriam had bottle service in her house. Talk about a lady who knows all of her class and putting together an event. Uh, I thought that, you know, the, the dinner table was well set. Uh, the chef and, you know, everything puts together for the nice pizzazz we like to show in Lagos. You know, this is Lagos. We like to show. Now, Laura, I don't quite get it you see i am of the belief that laura is acting a script i'm actually of the belief because i refuse to believe that there are people that are like this because one second we see you on episode six at your fashion show you're great nothing wrong you had this fashion show everybody got along and then you walk into miriam's house with a stank attitude your attitude was off from the beginning of that episode you did say you weren't feeling too well but you said it's not like it's a medical issue you walked into this woman's house she tries to give you a hug and you were like i don't even get it and then your manners at the table oof. Jesu! oof. Miriam is actually very level-headed. If that was me that had a dinner and somebody comes to my dinner to complain about what was this? Is it puff puff? Oh, this is not my setting. I'm bored. Side talking on dinner. I would have just been like, that's the door, my dear. That is the door. You can leave. You know, don't let the door hit behind you. Because I don't get it. When you signed on to be on this show, did they say it was going to be the Laura Ikeji canoe show? Or did you know that there were going to be other ladies? Because this is not the first time you said things like, this is not my setting. I hate being around women. Um, it was not your personal show, so clearly you're going to film with other people. Did you not know? Now, I thought your attitude from the beginning to the end of this episode was really, 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 really weird. Um, but when you went upstairs, then you loosened up a little bit and I thought, okay, all right, maybe it's really the champagne. The one person that had your back, which is Tony, you ended up telling her that she's doing too much. Tony kept on trying to bring you out of your show. What's wrong with you? Chill now, talk now, uh, coming now. Ah, uh, You look like someone who is of high maintenance in friendships you know we talked about that on the vlog uh which is what we'll be hitting on much later on before we wrap up this episode high maintenance friendships for me are just a no-no if i'm going to be friends with someone who lacks social etiquette aka when we go out i have to babysit you are you okay do you want a drink are you all right smile now why are you not talking yeah, is it okay is it okay we cannot be friends know. okay because i'm sort of bitch who can leave my friend at the entrance of a party do your thing do my thing we see each other later hey, oh you're still here what's popping what's going how many numbers who's talking to you we don't have to be attacked by the hip moving on um Yabo expressed her mind about the tardiness of Choma and Caroline. Ladies, I don't understand. When someone invites you to a private event, a dinner at their house, come on, you're not the queen of England. Even if makeup takes a long time. I'm not one to talk about being tardy because, you know, I have been late to a couple of events. But somebody's house, I mean, you also have access to your host, right? You guys are supposed to be on this WhatsApp group. If you're running really late, you could have just dropped a message guys carry on with dinner because of course the ladies were going to wait for you do you know what I mean carry on with dinner we're running a little bit late I will catch on as it goes you could have called that I did before something came up I'm not gonna be able to make it now Caroline um, on the previous episode or previous episodes in the past Tony had referred to you as follow follow ie whatever Choma does you like to do you think they wise. and it was quite disappointing because you left your house when the sky was still bright if you watch episode 7 you left in good time they showed you leaving and I don't know why you ended up going to sit at Choma's and didn't make it till it was dark. I mean, even if Choma was running late, you could have left. You could have just said, okay, I'll see you later. It's not nice for both of us to arrive fashionably late. At least let me go. And then let me tell them, hey, you're running late. I'll see you later. You know, that for me was a bit much. Do you know what I mean? In someone's house, it was like a club event now. You showed up at two o'clock. I mean, whatever. Again, back to Miriam. She's very nice. If that was me, or was it Torin that was saying, oh, guys, let's wait. If that was my house and I invite you at 4 p.m. and you're strolling at 8 or 9, 
Best believe you meet us at the patio upstairs because you will come doing karaoke. There'll be no food, no drinks, nothing. If you ask, oh, I'm so late, yeah, join, grab a mic, sing, and go back to your house because you came late, in my own opinion. Um, Iyabo obviously couldn't have it and she expressed her mind, which leads me to what I'm about to say next. Now, when Iyabo had expressed her mind, that was a very good opportunity for Laura to also say how she felt about it. But you kept rolling your eyes and acting like you were not there. And people were asking, are you okay? Are you okay? And you didn't say a word. And then the next day, you proceed to send this long message saying, guys, you know, I just thought that was unnecessary. Honestly, you don't want to seem like someone who's got Twitter fingers. If you have something to say, why don't you say it there? When Yabo said, have peace, you'd have like, no, I'm not taking this. This is why I'm pissed off. I'm not going to be waiting for you guys. Why the hell do you think you can come in at this time? You come across as somewhat insecure because, you know, there's this group of ladies which you perfectly fit into because that's why you're on the show. Why do you feel a bit intimidated every time you guys sit together? Why do you always say things like, I don't like women I don't like groups this is not my setting I want to go home then why are you on the show and number two if someone's expressing their mind about being kept waiting you have a right to be like I'm not taking it from you ladies in short I'm going home this is bullshit next time if you're going to be late don't be late you know you can express your mind there and not then turn it to something that you guys argue about anyway who's complaining with the viewers are not because you guys served you gave us all the drama in the world that we need that being said, that is Real Housewives of Lagos by the side. Uh, from this episode clearly led me to think about social etiquette and things that people might not necessarily know. And I'm going to start with the obvious. Number one, you know, when you're five, six, seven hours late to a private event, aka somebody's house, somebody's, you know, like surroundings, um, I think it's really, really tardy. I think it's wrong and I think it's also classless. Uh, number two, if you're one of those people who are very picky at dinner, you know what, eat before you leave home so that you don't have to eat when you get there. Because not everybody likes a lot of things and I'll give it to certain people. Like Some people are allergic to certain things. If the person did not send you the menu previously and you arrived graciously, you know, it's just classy to just keep it moving. You know, you can't continue to complain about dinner that someone took forever to make. Even if they had a chef, even if they had, it's their home and this is what they're serving. Now, if you don't like something, you don't have to eat it completely. You can move it to the side of the place and eat what you like, or just drink something, or at least eat before you leave home. So that way you're not so hungry and you're not gonna be like, you know, cause it's just social etiquette. It's just one of those things, you know what I mean? Number three, like when you're at a dinner table with someone at a, dinner events conversations are great and you know it's nice to always keep the conversation light like no really like heavy conversation especially if you guys are people who are just getting to know each other you know it's usually nice to just keep the conversation light you can talk about the food you can talk about the ambience you can talk about anything now when you guys relax later on to the patio the rooftop aka then maybe you guys can have like deep conversations i'm just saying like you know just social etiquette one or two things that people might miss out on saying hello is never old-fashioned you know if you're in somebody's house complimenting the house and saying hello like giving them a dry hug or dry hi or trying to be mean to somebody in their own home is only going to make you look ugly do you know what i mean like this is this person's space they are comfortable in this space and if they extend that invitation to you you know when you walk in you know curtsy hey hi what's going on you know just even if you don't have anything to say sometimes i understand sometimes some conversations are just like oh really you guys are boring me the fuck out or whatever you know but the fact that you're there and you agree to come you might as well just make it worthwhile you know you don't want to be someone that everybody babies all the time high maintenance friendships for me are a no-no i mean this is 2022 people already have things that they're dealing with personally emotionally financially you don't now want to be attached to somebody who's always sucking life from you imagine you inviting a friend who now follows you somewhere and they're just socially awkward it just makes everybody look at you and the friend and think why did you bring this person again you know with these few points i hope that i have made my points across that you know there are certain things that you know we need to always think about brushing off social etiquette you know just literally two things you know keep the conversation light you know don't mumble and grumble about what somebody serves you at their own dinner table um you know if you can't hold the hunger drink some water if you can't then you excuse yourself and leave and go home and eat your own food you know because they're putting effort in doing that don't be high maintenance don't be that person that always seeks attention everybody has to be like are you okay 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 are you not tired of being asked are you okay do you understand then if you're not going to be up for something then don't do it because you end up looking like the bad guy 
Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed my review of episode 7. I am absolutely loving the show. All the ladies are bringing it. I mean, someone else can flip it and think Laura is literally the one bringing the drama, which I said from the beginning, because I imagine that if there's no drama, it will probably just be a bland show. So maybe this is her own strategy. It could be. And if it's her strategy, who knows? She's getting ahead at it, and I hope the ladies wake up, catch up, and decide to also show us their own strategy. A couple of ladies have unfollowed themselves on Instagram, but we'll get into that on a much, much, much later episode. Thank you guys for watching. Mwah. Goodbye.